Hello and welcome dear viewers to the video on weight variation test and uniformity of mass test for the tablets and capsules and for making this video I have referred European Pharmacopoeia limits for mass variation test or uniformity of mass so when it is a Europe product or Europe market product it is known as uniformity of mass and if it is a US product it is called as weight variation test or uniformity of weight so uniformity of mass or weight variation test is performed as an in process test and also it is performed onto the finished formulation this test is performed for tablets, capsules, soft gelatin capsules and also onto the single unit dose preparations like sachets filled with granules, sachets filled with powder. For performing this test, the 20 units of tablets are taken as a random sample and the limits for weight are set as per the pharmacopoeial requirement so weigh individually 20 units taken at random or for single dose preparations present in the individual containers like sachets or bottles the content of 20 units are weighed and the average mass is determined so if you are working on to the tablets so individually 20 tablets are taken and weighed and after weighing those 20 tablets you will have the 20 number of individual weight and then calculate the average weight of those 20 units if you are working on to capsule formulation then for capsule formulation the contents of 20 tablets are removed from the capsule and those average of those 20 weights are taken so limits for these are given as per the pharmacopoeial requirements like not more than two of the individual masses deviate from the average mass by more than the percentage deviation as shown in the table below so below is the table i will explain in that slide and none deviates by more than twice that percentage so let's see the table now so this is the table and it is a reference from european pharmacopoeia so pharmaceutical doses form is given in this table and average mass is given and percentage deviation is given so once you start the compression run or you have the finished product in hand so take an example of tablets tablets may be coated or uncoated or film coated so as per the average mass of the tablet the percentage deviation in the weight is given and the reference from European pharmacopoeia is uniformity of mass of single dose preparations so this table gives you the percentage deviation for mass uni uniformity of mass test for tablets capsules powder powder for parental use suppositories and pessaries powder for eye drops and powders for eye lotions and here one thing is to remember that all these are the single dose preparations so consider the tablet formulation the tablets are uncoated tablets and the average mass is 80 mg or less so with that you will get percentage deviation limit of 10 percent if tablet weight is more than 80 mg and less than 250 mg then 7.5 percent deviation will be there and if it is 250 mg or more then you will get 5 percent deviation in the mass so these are the percent deviation ranges or limits then for capsule formulation if it is less than 300 mg the 
percent deviation is 10 percent if it is 300 mg or more it will be 7.5 percent for powders for parenteral use the if the weight is more than 40 mg then it will get 10 percent range when average mass is equal to or below 40 mg the preparation is not submitted to the test for uniformity of mass but the test for uniformity of content of single dose preparations so it is mainly for the parental formulations then for suppositories and pessaries all masses have the percentage deviation limit of 5 percent powders for eye drops and powders for eye lotions that those are single dose and single single dose preparations if these are less than 300 mg then 10 percent and if these are more than 300 mg then 7.5 percent and this limit is very similar to the capsules so one thing is to understand here that as your weight is less you will get higher limit of 10 percent and if the tablet weight is higher or capsule weight is higher then you will get the percent deviation of 5 percent that means the limit will be stringent and the reason behind this might be that the low low dose has more variation when the machine is run also the weight variation in the lower weight preparations will be higher so as a formulator as a pharma professional we have to control the formulation weight below these limits and we should always try to have the stringent limits if pharmacopoeia is providing the limit of 7.5 percent then always try to have the stringent limit of around 5 percent though you can give the limit of 7.5 percent as per the pharmacopoeia limits but try to make your process or design your formulation and process in such a way that you can control the weight below the pharmacopoeia limits so that it can lead to less variation in the weight and also your process performance will be good one thing here is to understand that why the weight variation test is given though you are going to check the assay and contain uniformity see the deviation in the weight may lead to change in the assay change in the uniformity of doses units or contain uniformity also if you consider the tablet formulation if weight is changed then that tablet may have higher or lower hardness higher or lower thickness and also may lead to higher or lower dt higher or lower dt may also have impact on the dissolution for some of the formulations so weight variation test is the in process test which is prime test during compression run also weight variation test is the finished product test and in finished product testing the limits are similar now here we have to understand very important thing that how the limits are given so if you weigh the 20 tablets and you determine the average weight and if that average weight falls for example as 100 mg or 200 mg that time you will get the limit of 7.5 percent so not more than two units fall beyond the 7.5 percent and none unit that means none no unit should fall out of the choice of this limit that means 7.5 into 2 will give 15 percent so there should not be any unit which go beyond 15 percent deviation now here the procedure is given for capsules weigh an intact capsule open the capsule without losing any part of the shell and remove the content as completely as possible if your capsule is hard gelatin then perform the process as open the weigh the intact capsule then open and weigh the powder weight if it is a soft 
gelatin capsule then wash the cell with suitable solvent and allow to dry until the odor of the solvent is no longer perceptible weigh the cell the mass of the content is the difference between the veins first of all you weigh the intact capsule there are different procedures performed so for soft gelatin capsules wash the cell with suitable solvent and allow to stand until the odor of the solvent is no longer perceptible weigh the cell the mass of the content is the difference between the veins that means the intact capsule versus the capsule shell if the intact capsule weight is 1000 mg and you remove the content and now you are going to weigh the shell which is cleaned with the solvent and if it is 200 mg then the weight of content is 800 mg for example i am saying this and this procedure is repeated with another 19 capsules and why 19 capsules because one capsule example is given here and we have to weigh the total 20 units so for example i have given here the tablets with the weight of 70 mg the limit will be 10 percent so the range will be 63 mg to 77 mg for tablet with weight of 200 mg the range will be 185 to 215 mg with the percentage deviation of 7.5 percent tablet weight of 1000 mg will have a limit of weight variation of 5 percent and it will be 950 to 1050 mg criteria for not more than two units and no units so not more than two units should differ by 10 percent and none unit or no unit should be 20 percent for second it will be 7.5 percent and 15 percent and third it will be 5 percent and 10 percent so this is very simple also if your tablet is film coated so and if the weight is around 80 mg then you will have the limit of 10 percent weight variation for core tablet stage and after film coating it if it is becoming 85 mg or 82 mg or 85 83 mg so it will have the percentage deviation limit of 7.5 percent so if you coat the tablet by film coating or enteric coating or any coating so as per that final tablet weight the weight variation limits will be given then we have to calculate the average mass by weighing the individual mass of 20 tablets not more than two tablets of the individual masses deviate from the average mass by more than the percentage deviation as shown in the table and none deviates by more than the twice that percentage twice that percentage means twice of the 10 percent twice of the 7.5 percent and twice of the 5 percent then here i have taken an example this is a hypothetical example of the tablet with a weight of 500 mg so you have calculated the weight of 20 units and for example you got 502.9 mg and your limit is here 5 percent limit is given so minimum will be this maximum will be this so it is passing the test similarly i have taken the averages of 20 units here and if here you have the limit of 475 mg and one is falling beyond that so still it is passing the limit then if you consider here you have the limit of 525 and 475 and here you got a unit with lower weight of 473 and higher with a 523 so this here in this example also it is passing the criteria but if it goes beyond the number of units should be checked and not more than two units beyond that percentage limit and no unit should go beyond the choice of the deviation limit so if tablet weight is 500 mg 5 percent deviation will be there 475 to 5, 525 mg then choice limit will be 10 percent so it will come to 450 mg to 550 mg not more than two of the individual masses deviated from the average mass by more than five percent and no unit deviates by more than 
ten percent. So this is regarding the weight variation test for tablets and capsules. Soft gelatin capsules are also tested with the same way. Only you have to weigh the intact capsule, then remove the content uh, and wipe out the empty gelatin shell with solvent, dry it and weigh the shell and the difference will give you the content weight. So this is regarding the weight variation. It is also known as mass variation. Some people also call it as uniformity of doses units. So unit of, unit, uniformity of doses unit is, do, is done by weight variation and also by content uniformity. But nowadays regulatory authorities are always asking for content uniformity and weight variation test is the in process test and it should not be or it is not required to be correlated with content uniformity. For content uniformity nowadays stratified sampling is done and at the finished product state, stage content uniformity test as per USP or EP is done. Weight variation test is the test performed in in process testing and also on the finished product. So the weights are mentioned onto the BMR also performed by the QA person and it is mentioned in the BMR and at finished product it is mentioned in the certificate of analysis of the batch. Thank you for watching the video. Please do like share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.